in order to plot the data extracted from ANSYS, first I'll copy those, those data, Control V. After copying this data, then I'll go to insert, click on this chart chart icon, chart, click on this dotted um, second option for scatter with smooth line and marker, click on this. Now from here we can, uh, now after getting this, we will change the chart type, click on change chart type, this icon. Now choose line one, line, this one, scatter with smooth line, click on this. Now we can see the uh, our graph will look like this with smooth smooth line with no dotted line in between. Now click on OK. After getting this, now we can see some lines are cutting in the between here, like some random line is coming here. This one coming in between. In order to remove this line, in order to remove this uh, middle line which is coming and intersecting in between, click on this first. Click on this first number, like first value first value of our first row and first column first row first column first value click on this after clicking on this click here short and filter short and filter click on this short smallest to largest first option click on this after we click in click short smallest to largest then it will uh, it will short the value from smallest to largest after it will get shorted the line which was coming initially we can see if i press ctrl z we can see this line will be eliminated after shorting okay after shorting this uh, middle line which is coming in uh, like in the between and cutting it will get removed so click on short and filter short smallest to large click on it it will remove this line now we can see one value is there here which is a very very small value 1.47 e to the power minus 17 10 to the power minus 17 it is very very small value so we can see like we are plotting the value at 80 mm so we don't need this value we need the value from exactly from here so what we will do we will delete this value either we can leave it also after shorting after slotting from small slides we can leave it also no problem but we will delete this value we'll after selecting these two both both this value row and column uh, both column value we will press delete from our laptop keyboard delete uh, button will be there we'll press delete and it will get deleted so this is our what we can see here this is our appropriate value for the graph okay now in order to keep the chart title press on this plus we can see the option called axis title and chart title already showing click on axis title give the axis title as it is our static pressure static pressure press enter done static pressure and for this it is y y value in transverse direction or we can say just write y because the values are in y direction so i will just mention y it is, the values are in meter so y in meter static pressure we can mention as in pascal in bracket capital p a pascal okay we will mention both unit also along with the access title name now we will give the chart title chart our chart title is static pressure variation along transverse direction at x is equal to 80 mm static pressure variation variation in transverse direction in transverse direction in transverse direction at x is equal to 80 mm static pressure variation in transverse direction at x is equal to 80 mm what is this is the values how it is varying now in order to change this value like you can see already after giving the exercise title we can see these values are in 0 0.00 then 1.00 e one point, after clicking on this we can we will change this number uh, selecting this number selecting this number right click it format axis click on format axis then one icon will uh, open here in the right uh, side now click on this and uh, go to number in number we can see the option category is selected as scientific choose from scientific to general then it will show the value in general like 0, 0, 0, 0 normal value it will show okay 
now we can remove cut close it now we can see this value if the values are very very less like if the values are like 0 0.001 or 0 0.002 or 0 0.0003 like this then we will keep the value uh, appropriately like in general term or in scientific term but here we can see the values are containing so many zeros so if we keep directly these values like containing uh, these many these many zeros it won't look good so what we will do we will convert this in scientific term so click on this right click it format axis go to number go to number change from general to scientific scientific now it is looking proper or exponential will be also there or we can exponential and scientific is uh, same only so we'll select exponential now close it now this is the appropriate graph for our these value whatever values we have this is the appropriate graph with having no line intersecting in between having axis title also along with the unit having axis title also x and y both title and appropriate value if the value is very very large then we will keep in the terms of e like 7.00 e plus 0 e to the power 0 0.5 if the values are two things we will remember if the values are very very large then we will keep in the terms of scientific term and if the very values are very very less so in order to identify in order to uh, see the values clearly with the naked eye like uh, without any thinking and we can we will keep the values in this this value in number or uh, general general number and if the values are big so we will keep in scientific term okay and we will provide the appropriate chart title axis title and uh, already i said like uh, uh, for shorting the value for removing the line which is cutting between select the first value and click on short uh, short from smallest to largest smallest to largest so, so the line which is cutting in between it will get removed so this is our appropriate value now we can so, uh, save this one by clicking on save as whatever uh, wherever you want to save you we can save in our folder okay thank you